Right, so a quick run through the gear. We've got a Van Gogh, 70 to 80 litre rucksack, a Van Gogh, three to four seasons bag, my little boy's bag, um, a DD hammock, front line, a Mia Mia underquilt, a Ryako top, two water tanks, waterproof trousers, um, first aid cooking facilities. I've got a new cast iron skillet, which is going to weigh a ton. Uh, axe, a new knife, uh, camera holder, the odd bits and bobs. I've got a petzl head torch, catapult for me and the boy to have a bit of fun on, gas burner, two pillows, two towels, a power bank and a laptop for cinema night. So a bit to pack up, but all worth it. So I'll see you on the trail. Right, so our ride's gone. Let the adventure begin. We're just about to hit the trail. Like I says, we're in the Canic Chase. We're in the Punch Bowl car park, taking the um, the lower path into the woodland. And this is what it's going to be looking like. Full of ferns, which I love. An area of natural beauty. I'm just going to follow the trail and we're going to see if we can find a nice spot. We're not going to walk for too long, we'll probably just walk for a mile or so. This backpack that I've the heaviest that I've ever had it. Um, it's got to be it's got to be 35 40 kilograms easily. But yeah, we're just gonna navigate our way through some of this uh ferns. Really I wanna be in there. Ideally. Get us in there. Which way do you reckon go mate straight on? Yes, yeah? The forecast for tonight is going to be raining slightly. By the time we've got our tarp up, we'll be nice and dry. Right, so we've come to a spot now where we're, we're going to turn left and walk into the woodland. So we're going to let Harley go first. Go on, mate, show us the way. That's it. You'll be fine. Just walk in daddy's footsteps. You ready? Yeah. That's it. Good lad. Go on mate. You found your way through haven't you? Huh? Yeah. Fair play. See if daddy can do it. Hey. Oh that's a nice stream isn't it mate? Be nice to be nice to come somewhere close to a stream, not too close, like. They reckon you're not meant to come too close to a stream. Two hundred paces, I think the the rule is. Uh huh. They're going to be slippy though, mate. Do you want to try and get across? Careful, not that one. There's a there's a stone in the in there. Step on the stone. Reckon you'll manage. Hey, go on, son. Carefully. Dad, yeah. Just throw it. Just put it in the water at near the end. Go on. It's full of water anyway, it's not gonna float. That's it. That's it. Good lad. And again. You attempted to jump there, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> not on there, put your foot on the ground. No, go back where you want to put your foot, just go a little bit further with your foot, that's it. Good luck. So right, time to take that trail which leads you up into the forest. And then hopefully we're going to find a little bit of flat ground up there to get set up. I already know where I'm um, going. I'm not on this walk to be on an absolute mission with the boy. I already know where I'm going. Where are you going mate? You want to go up? You want to go up? Yeah? yeah. Alright. That's the decision then. We're going to go up, find a nice flat spot at the top, hunker down, get some nice food on the go. You having a little rest? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Got a battered and bruised water bottle, but we're going to cook with that. Yeah. And boil it up first if we're going to use it. Yeah. But look. Look at this place. 
How lovely is that? Absolutely gorgeous. We can see it, do you? Shh. Oh, he's just making you see him. Yeah. Oh, there's two. There's one behind them though. Oh, there's another three. I think there's going to be a herd of them, Harley. Right, so we've arrived at the camp and we've decided to go in between this tree here and that tree there. So I've cleared some of the dead branches off the sides of the trees um, and then we've got to collect everything, haven't we mate? Yeah. We've got to move everything out of the way and make a little pile so we can have a little fire later. Yeah. Yeah? As he's playing with the axe. So I'm going to put this on the tripod and you can see how we get set up. Halls? Yeah. Put the axe down. <laughs> to investigate because the deers were right next to our camp. And what did you find, Harley? Deer poo. Deer poo. What does deer poo look like? Circle. Shall we have a look? Little winnets? Yeah. Let's either. Let's either deer poo or rabbit poo or something like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go on, son. Little inspector, Harley. Hmm. And what that's for is, is you can move it freely like this but when you pull it across you can't pull it back on itself which is ideal for setting these tops up to keep everything nice and tight so you can adjust it nice so I'm going to pull it across and I've got another one on this side that's it so that's formed a nice tight ridge line and also keeping all of this nice and tight Yeah, put them down for a second. I tell you what, do you want to do the honours, mate? To see what it feels like? Yeah. Do you want to get in? Yeah. yeah? What's that feel like, mate? Good. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> right, so we're all set up. Um, I've done a couple of little loops just off the ridge line, the overhang or whatever was left of this, the line. Put a couple of loops in there just to hang the bag in my cooking pots. We've got my coat hanging up, which isn't going to stop there, it's just for now. We've got a nice under quilt. We've got a day day front line hammock. And all of the kit to go inside, the sleeping bag, which will keep me and Harley really warm tonight. Camo top. And what we're going to do now is we're going to um, think about setting a fire. So I'm going to have to clear some of this brush off the floor, get down to the, to the mud. Um, find some rocks right so there's plenty of um, dry wood around here so we're gonna get some smaller sticks get some medium sticks and a couple of big ones just to make a nice fire not too big only enough to cook and we've got some really nice food coming up Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this isn't quite 
I try enough? Try enough. Because you know what? It's not lit because of the rain. There's fire in there. Mm. Oh, yeah. I touched it, did it? The same, no. <sighs> Not only this, but the bring stick from home that's green and got. Oh, I'm really, really happy um, that the fire is the way it is because now we can have some lovely food. We're just going to let the bed of embers just get up so I can get up to heat and I'm going to try my new cast iron skillet. We're going to have, we've got four um, steaks and that's only because I'm camping tonight and tonight was steak night and it was the last night so me and Harley scored. What was scored for me? Fire. <laughs> Two steaks do you mean? In yes. wraps? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to start prepping the food shortly and I'll let you know and come back to you. We've got some wraps, so we're going to have that with um, obviously steak chopped up spring onions, chopped tomatoes, we're going to have some um, potato with it, chopped up, we've got some um, camembert cheese which I'm going to melt on the fire and have with breadsticks and then we've got loads of seasoning so I like hot sauce, we've got some Nando's sauce, that's going to be put on separate because Harley doesn't like spicy sauce too much do you mate? Yeah. That's the bottle that was smashed. I'm wounded, I forgot the peppers, you know, mate. I meant to have peppers with this. Peppers? Well, that lost the day. Steaks as well, these are fillet steaks. Because Harley doesn't like the hard steaks, do you, mate? No. The chewy ones. Yeah, they're annoying. So all we're doing is chopping it up. We're going to have a mash up. Yeah, that's gone. That hasn't gone? Yes. Really Got some oregano. Ow. So, stop picking the fire up, Harley. Two oregano's, oregano's. Still time there, mate? Yep. So, if we let this fire die down a little bit more, then it will put our food on. Oh, I think we should put it on now. I know that. No, let it die down a little bit first. Oh, it's going away. Let's freeze up the pan. The pan will burn. The what? The pan. No, the, the pan's fine. That's cast iron, that is. That's not going to burn. I oh, know, but it will get hot and then it, the food will just go on. Yeah. Like, well, if we let one side, we'll pull a few embers to the left and we'll put our potatoes on, let them boil. And then we'll put that on once they've boiled a little bit. And then we'll put the skillet on with all the meat in. And then just near the end, we'll put all the potatoes in, mix it all up, and then we'll have our wrap. Mm -hmm. Sound like a plan? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. And then we'll have well, no idea. Just think. Like daddy. Yeah, just put Lego <laughs> What film we're gonna watch? We've got Ratatouille, we've got Lego Batman, and yeah. we've got Harry Potter. Uh you choose. Ratatouille like. Okay. I like Ratatouille. Ratatouille first then, and then if we're still awake, what's the second choice? Lego Batman. Or oh, Harry Potter. Yeah. No. Um, if we have enough time, so back to it, then go back one. If we have time to have a. a that would be like one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I mean, I don't game with your game, man. If we have time, though. Yeah, if we have time, we'll watch it. I'm starving, man. I've done us um, mm. some camembert with breadsticks. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to see what that tastes like. Done on the campfire as well. Where have you opened them, Harley? Oh, oh. Let's see what this tastes like. Oh, look at that. What about that, Harley? Mmm. Mmm. Honestly. Absolutely beautiful, lad. Like. Mmm. What's your verdict, son? Extreme. Extreme, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I thought it was as well, like. I'm going in for another bite. Look at that. Oh, listen. Mm. That is dreamy. I like bites, it's mm. like Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's no better feeling then coming into the woods, setting the fire nah. with your son, nah. cooking some food, nah. especially food that looks like this. Yeah. So we've got we've got potatoes on the boil. Yeah. We've got four fillet steaks in there. Yeah. With tomatoes and spring onions and loads of seasoning. Yeah. And just to get us by, we've got some camembert. <sighs> Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. What you reckon, Harley? Yeah. Is it good, yeah? Yeah. Smoking. Right, so the potatoes is where I need them. They're all nice and soft. I'm going to take these off, put them to one side. I'm going to put a couple of more sticks on. And then I'm going to put that little baby on. When, uh, uh, only at a tree. Not at anything else. Yeah, but you wouldn't just throw a knife at a tree for nothing, would you? I know. Are you pointing the camera at me? Yeah. <laughs> it. You should only throw a knife at targets, and only when, when you will me. Uh, Speak the targets, do you want to have a go at the catapult soon? Or not? Yeah. Or should we leave it for in the morning? Yeah, let's leave it for the morning. Yeah? Yeah. Sound. We've got our food on the blend. Yeah. That's all cooking up nicely, it's just starting to come to the boil. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. Oh my life. Absolutely gorgeous. Now that there, folks, is what it's all about. That, I've just tried it and it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the boy's just going to put them in some wraps, isn't we, mate? Yeah. Are you coming to get your wrap now? Yeah. Come on, then. I'll give you a view once I've made a couple of wraps up. But, yeah, outstanding. And I'm no chef, it was quite easy. Put all of the stuff in, smash it on the cast iron skillet, yeah, smash it on the fire, yeah, dish bash bosh done. Eh? Hey? We have. That's going to keep our bottoms warm, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if we fall on the ground, our butts will get uh, dirty. Yeah. It's yes, like so. Um, Is it nice, first of all? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, lovely. So I says that I had a couple of spicy sauces with us. Nothing too mad. Um, they are just Nando's yeah. sauces. Yeah. And this is what they look like. We've got the Peri Peri Wild Herb, which is on the left. And then we've got the Peri Peri sauce with garlic. So I think I'm going to go for the garlic first. If that um, blows my mouth off. Mmm. Yeah, that's nice. And then we're going for the wild herb. Is it wild? Mmm. That's wild, so. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was the final bite of that lovely food. And believe it or not, me and the boy is absolutely smashed it. Haven't we, mate? Yeah. And this is what we've got left. Daddy's this is what we've got left. <laughs> Daddy's at most of it. Come on. There you go, sports fans. And the Nando's sauce went down a treat. So what I'm going to do now is um, get the get everything cleaned up. Um, douse the fire with plenty of water because of the area that we're in. You could very easily start a larger fire by spreading into the root systems. 
I did dig down for anyone who skipped the video. Um, I went down to pebble and soil. The potatoes I'll leave for tomorrow's breakfast. Um, I have a general tidy up and then we're going to hunker down and watch Ratatouille in our hammock. He's convinced we're going to have enough time to watch three movies. It's now quarter past eight. Um, I think we'll be watching probably one, maybe it's the start of a second one, depending on how he's feeling. But yeah, we say good night. <laughs> he's playing funny buggers. To make sure it doesn't spread during the nightmares. Right, so me and the boy is hunkered up in our hammock, a DD front line. We're really, really comfortable. We're really warm. You're comfortable as well, aren't you, son? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're basically just sitting there, on, and we're watching Ratatouille. So, yeah. for now, folks. Good night, and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, Vietnam. Another lovely night's sleep. The boy's still sleeping. Gonna get some breakfast on. <laughs> Can't wait. It's definitely a spot I'm going to pin on the map. Boy's in bed, so I'm just going to sort him his breakfast. <clears throat> yeah, looking absolutely pucker. Still got the potatoes, the beans to go in. Toasty bagel for you. How's that? Mm. <laughs> Want some bean juice on there, you said, yeah? No, I actually, yeah. No, I actually think that was. What? Uh, I think that was a potty. Have you got it? Yeah. I've never seen one of them before, you know, in real life. No. Just put on the potatoes that I'm frying, finishing off the sausages, and then I think I'm just going to put a, some beans in the pan, mix it all up, and then um, toast me bagel and happy days. <coughs> Time to enjoy. Breakfast is served. Now that is going to go down nicely. Oh, hang on, I forgot my bagels. Not bad for a wild camp breakfast, I must say myself. Where's it? <laughs> I'm using it. Oh. You find a piss pot of these? Uh, no, I was, just, I was just seeing where you're not supposed to. I was like, where is it? I've looked at this one. Bad boy. We didn't walk in as far as we thought we did, you know. Yeah. I looked on the map this morning. And we didn't walk in as far as we thought we did. As far? We didn't walk in as far. 
We're only about three quarters of a mile in. So we didn't quite walk a mile. But because it was all uphill, it was hard. It feel like a mile, doesn't it? Yeah. Would you come back to this spot? Yeah. Did you like this one? Yeah. What did you like better this time than last time? Uh, uh, the food. The food? Yeah. You like having steak? Oh, was that steak? But what was spicy? Was it? Yeah. It's the spices that mummy give us. Uh-huh. Mummy's fault. <laughs> no blame us. It's all mummy's fault. No. Uh, no what? When we get home, you know what we should say? What? Oh. Uh, There's that car again. Yeah. No. It was. That was a motorbike. It was only a little bit of sand, right? What? A little bit of sand. You know, uh, just as a pine. Mm hmm. It was only a bit of sand. Mm -hmm. You know the one left? Yeah. That's the only actual top of the sand. Yeah, 100%. So, Mum's uh, so getting a slow car, isn't she? Ah. We're, we're hearing a faster car in this way, uh, thing. That was as big as ours. Of course, we'll put our quad on the back. If we get one. We would not want one. Do you want them titties? No. Dad, we already want one. No, we're not that, but if we get a big one. Not Santa for it. Yeah, I'm gonna say apple. Blue green. <laughs> My parents have shit for rainbows. The rainbow? Yeah, it'll be a load of colours. But rainbow I would us. not like that. No. Well, should just put a hydro kick. Not too good. So we battled on cooking without oil. Normally, what I use is a little bit of butter. Now I thought that I forgot the butter, but I was that organised last night to keep the food off the floor. Bam! I forgot about the batali butter. Wounded. <laughs> Never mind. So nobody will be able to tell that we were even here. All of this will be tidied up in just a second. You watch. Leave no trace. Right, so we're all packed up, won't we, mate? Yeah, we've got all of the stuff you in the bag which weighs an there. absolute ton. What did you say? You nope, and we've left the site exactly how we found it. And now the downhill descent starts. Go on, son, I'm behind you. While we're walking out, bye bye our campsite. Some big trees here. Come on. Take your step nicely, mate. Watch where you're stepping. That's it. Take your time, mate. It's a bit of a bank, that is. It doesn't look like it on the um, camera, but that's quite steep here. Go on. Oh, millions, mate. There's millions of ferns in here. I think... I 
What you found? Really? Was it just rolling down the hill? Yeah. Is look. Just like that. <laughs> Always got to be different, doesn't it? Always got to be different, don't you, mate? I win. <laughs> Just throw it on the other side. Oh, it It'll not. Right over. That's it. Oh, and you can do it. Hey! Goodbye, camping spot. Goodbye. Look how lovely that is. Beautiful. All right, all right, fast coach. I'm gonna beat ya. Run, 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 run. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm faster. Run, run, run! Go on, son! I'm coming! I'm right behind you! <laughs> Here she comes to wreck the day! Ha, ha, ha.